Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey and in this video I'm going to show you how you can stabilize your video footage using Windows Movie Maker. Now have in mind that what I'm going to show you will only work if you're running Windows Movie Maker 2012 on a Windows 10 8 or 8.1 system. If you're running Windows 7 or any older version of Windows for that matter, then Movie Maker will not feature the video stabilization option that we're going to use in this tutorial. Now I know how you guys are always eager for end results, so I'm going to show you an example of the type of video stabilization you can expect right now before we even start with the tutorial. So if this is something that you would be satisfied with, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to achieve this type of video stabilization using Windows Movie Maker 2012. So first things first, you're going to need to download Windows Movie Maker 2012 if you don't already have it on your system. To do that, you can visit the link that will be included in the video description and click on this purple download link right here. Now the particular install file that you download will contain certain software that is outdated. So because I don't want you guys installing any unneeded software, I'm just going to quickly take you through the installation process. So once you download it, you can find it on the location where it's saved. Click on it. Now right here you're going to have two options. Install all of Windows Essentials which is recommended but we do not want that. We're going to go with the second option that says choose the programs you want to install. So you're going to click on that. Now right here make sure that only Photo Gallery and Movie Maker are checked. So uncheck Messenger, uncheck Outlook Connector Pack, uncheck Mail and uncheck Writer. It also offers you Microsoft OneDrive, but I already have that installed on my PC. So right here it says that it is already installed. Once you have Photo Gallery and Movie Maker checked, you want to click Install. Now the installation process should be relatively quick, but as always, that will depend on the power of your system. When the installation process is finished, you can run Windows Movie Maker by going to Start then go to all apps and simply find Movie Maker under the M's. There it is right there. Okay, so for the purposes of this tutorial, I have recorded some footage that is rather shaky. So let me just open up my folder that is containing my footage. There it is. This is the particular clip that I'm going to be using for the tutorial. So let's just click on that and drag and drop it to Windows Movie Maker. Now to stabilize video in Windows Movie Maker is very, very simple. You can either double click on the footage on the right side of the program or you can select it and then click on edit. The video stabilization option is right here. Now if you click on that, you have four options. The first one is none, so that means that absolutely no stabilization will be applied to the selected footage. The second option is anti-shake. Now if you hover over these options, then you can get a brief description. For anti-shake, it says that it reduces the appearance of shake in the selected video clip. Besides that, we also have anti-shake and wobble correction low. This reduces the appearance of shake in the selected video clip and applies rolling shutter correction and it's recommended for digital SLR cameras. You can also apply a higher dose of shake and wobble correction and this particular effect is recommended for mobile devices and handheld cameras. Now have in mind that these three types of stabilization will have different effects on your footage and finding the right type of stabilization for your particular footage is simply a thing of trial and error. So try one, if it doesn't seem to work really good, try the other one. If that doesn't look too good, try the third one and then see which one gives you the best end result. Now for this particular footage, I found that the anti-shake option is actually the best. So I'm going to select that one. 
Once you select it, you're gonna have to give it a moment to actually apply. If the footage you're stabilizing is shorter, then this process will be fairly quick. If the footage is longer, then you might have to give it a while. Now in this particular video, we're only gonna go through the video stabilization option for Windows Movie Maker. Obviously, we're not gonna be going over through the editing options as a lot of you probably already know how to use Windows Movie Maker to edit your videos. If you don't, please do a search on YouTube because there are countless videos that show you how to use different option in this video editing program. But for the sake of stabilizing this particular video clip, now that we have applied the anti-shake filter, we're gonna save this footage in high definition. So we're gonna go to the Home tab, click on Save Movie, choose the HD preset, this one right here, set a location, give the movie a name, I'm just gonna leave it at My Movie and give it a one at the end, and I'm gonna hit Save. Now, I know I already showed you an example of the end results you can expect at the beginning of this video, but here are a few other examples of the video stabilization that I managed to achieve using this program. So there you have it. I really do hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and share the video with your friends. For more similar content in the future, be sure to subscribe and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong. Well done,